All right, hi everyone. My name is Iman. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use OnKing uh, for your studies. That's OnKing, A-N-K-I-N-G, okay? It's a pre-made deck that runs on Anki, uh, and I think it's the best thing to study for second year of medical school. That's term four and term five. Now, if you feel a little ambitious, I think you can still use it for term one, two, three as well. Uh, so in order to set up Anking, first you need to set up Anki. In order to do that, just search on Google Anki download. Uh, just click the first link, hit download, and then choose whether you have uh, Windows, Mac, and download what you need and install it, okay? Once you're done installing it, it's gonna take a bit. Uh, you go to search this Reddit on King, right? And for me, it's the, you wanna find this post. Wanna find this post titled this, right? And then you want to scroll down to where the comments are. So you see, this is the first comment. There's a deck here that's a specifically a SU deck. What that means is that, so the Anking has a certain number of cards, right? All Anking decks have the same number of cards. Now, the way you categorize these cards, they make like different mini decks within Anking. So for example, this deck has all the same cards as all the other Anking cards, but it's organized in a way to have SU lectures in mind, right? I personally don't recommend that. I recommend, especially for term four, you come here and use one of these two links, you know, you click on them, it downloads a massive file. And once you do that, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It doesn't have the SU tags, meaning, each concept isn't correlated with a specific lecture, but uh, I prefer that to, where's my picture? I prefer uh, having it not correlated compared to having it correlated, uh, but then being more messy. Okay, so in, in a second, I need to close Anki from here and then open Anki here. So I'll show you how it looks like if you go with it, these two bottom links. After you install Anking and it takes a while to download these, it could be depending on how fast your internet is, 10 minutes to like an hour, you just give it the time. After you're done installing it, the file, the deck you're looking for is name is titled Anking, right? So it's this one. Mine looks a little different because I have added some anatomy stuff, some Canadian board stuff, but on King itself, you'll have <coughs> this file, right? And you have to import before you get this. Actually, you come here, you say import, you say import, it opens up this window. You choose the file you downloaded through the drive, through the links that I showed you on Reddit, right? After you do that, you come here, I'm going to show you how, how it looks like and how do you, how you use it. So the way I used this in fourth term was actually quite straightforward and I really loved it. It is, it takes a little bit of effort to find the cards you want to study, but once you do that, it's really convenient and the content is super high yield. The most bang for your buck time-wise that I can think of is Pathoma, right? You would want to, you want to watch the Pathoma videos before this. And then let's say the first module is about you know, one of the first things you learn in the first module in term four, FTCM is growth adaptations, right? And some inflammation, okay? So you go watch all the five videos for growth adaptations from Pathoma. Uh, and then you come here, you see like on the, the, the side on the left, when, I, when I'm choosing a different, different uh, kind of folder, it's opening a different set of cards here. So let's say you watch video number one on the growth adaptations of Pathoma. And here up here, you say it says it has 24 cards. Um, 
let's say it's the first week i watch the first three first three videos in the first day of the first week and then i come here i have these so 24 cards here uh, 32 cards here and 81 cards here and i go through these cards uh and basically i practice these cards and every time every day we're going forward i'll watch a bunch more videos and i after i watch more videos basically unlock new these new cards and just keep keep adding it to my circulation and as i personally don't like ever putting them out of circulation because everything you learn in medical school comes uh, is familiar is relevant to you so this way when we are like moving on to let's say uh, I don't know, GI in the last module, I'm still like looking at the stuff that I learned in the first module, just not as the same level of intensity. I'm like seeing, seeing the cards once in a while, but that little bit of seeing the cards every day is still keeping the material fresh in my mind, right? Um, so the first, th and all these videos, all these numbers, they have a bunch of videos associated with them. Pathoma does a really, really good job of explaining pathology. Uh, and I highly, highly recommend using Pathoma uh, first and then maybe looking at lectures. But if you understand Pathoma well, and if you just take a brief look at lectures, making sure you don't miss anything, you should be able to do really well in pathology. And let me tell you, pathology, I think, is the most important thing uh, in medical school. The most, most, most of the questions come from pathology. Most of the hard questions come from pathology. Most of the questions that are that you need time to actually understand the topics behind behind them come from pathology so and pathoma makes learning pathology so easy especially if you use it like this it just goes in your brain doesn't come out so by doing this you just kind of guarantee yourself to do really well in pathology uh, but you have to do everything you have to watch the videos and then you have to come practice the cards now the way you practice the cards is when you first download the deck you come here you click on all the tags right and i'm not going to demonstrate it here but I'm gonna say what you need to do because if I demonstrate it, it kind of messes with my stuff. But you come to under tags, click on the whole thing, right? Click on, this is like all your cards, right? So this is like the tags is, the tab tags, it has all the cards underneath it. So we click on this, click on any card here and go control A on Windows or command A on um, Mac, right? That does something like this. So I hit control A it will take it a while because it's selecting all of these cards and please allow your computer to take take its time because it's not an easy like it's going over 30,000 something like that cards so this means the program is thinking so it doesn't crash but basically what it looks like is i select all the cards with control a and then i want to you see how they're all uh, white right now I want to hit after they all get selected they turn to this color over here right after they all turn that color i'll hit Control j that makes them all yellow that suspends all those cards meaning none of those cards are actively in my circulation of cards right and then when i'm going to pathoma i open video one of pathoma i select all the cards in video one of pathoma go Control a to select all the cards and then Control j again to activate those cards okay so i'm going to say it one more time you go under tags, all right? So just like I did, you go under tags, you select all the cards, all these cards are selected now, and then hit Control J. That should turn everything to a yellow color. That means all your cards are suspended. That means none of the cards are in your circulation right now. And then as you go forward, as you, let's say, study pathology, chapter one, growth adaptations, you go under growth adaptations and activate those cards by opening the folder from here, right? Click on one of these cards and then go on Control A, meaning select everything. Control J so unsuspends everything, makes everything white in that folder. And then that way, when you click on your Anki card, uh, Anki card, you will have only those cards circulating. And you do the same thing. Uh, so this is for pathology. Same basic idea for microbiology. For microbiology, I use Sketchy. I watched a video, the Sketchy video. And let's say we learn about the bug. <sighs> Computer is being a little laggy and so will yours. This is because, and chances are yours will be more laggy. This is because these are, the computer is doing a lot of work right now. It's going over 50, 60,000 cards. 
So let's say you learn Staff Aureus. Then I go watch the video first, come here and unsuspend all these cards. How do I unsuspend them? Control A, just like this, select everything, and then Control J to suspend. So yours will look like this if you've suspended everything. You come here, you unsuspend them. You make them look like this. And then these cards will also be in your circulation. But it's important to watch the video first. And then let's say today you watch two, three videos. You don't want to watch like eight videos. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. You want to like dose it a little bit, a little bit of cards every day, right? And then after you watch two, three videos, which maybe is going to represent like two to 300 cards, hopefully less than that, two to 300 is on our high side. Uh, and then you come here and suspend the cards. Um, and that's for micro, right? Sketchy micro has most of the organisms you need. For farm, I use sketchy farm. It's not, sketchy farm is okay, right? Same style, you watch the video, you, you do the cards here, right? But I personally like Boards and Beyond a lot more than, uh, the only thing that I like more than Boards and Beyond is Pathoma actually. So I would first do Pathoma and then for micro, I would definitely do Sketchy Micro. Boards and Beyond is fantastic, but it's a lot of content, right? So let's say for Cardio, for example. Cardio, you can see it has 2,000 cards. But Pathoma for Cardio, uh, let's see how many cards Pathoma has. Has 400 cards. Now, granted, Pathoma has vascular in a different section, 200 here, so it's like together there's 650, and Pathoma only has Pathology, Boards and Beyond has everything. Uh, I still really, really like Boards and Beyond, uh, but Pathology, I think I said it's the most efficient thing. It will get you good on Pathology. Pathology is really important when it comes to SU exams, when it comes to step one in general, when it comes to medicine in general. You don't want to uh, go cheap on Pathology. Your, how good you understand Pathology is how good you understand medicine, okay? So basically, this is, this is how the whole thing works. And then... Uh, so my, I'm a little behind, I'm, I'm a super behind, but it's because I've started like integrating different things into my, um, how I study, but basically the way that Anki works is that let's say I have my cards activated and then I just come here. Well, this is a card I made personally, and then it, it quizzes you like this. It's like, like, what is, like, what is this blank, right? These things. And. this to an Anki. Uh, and if you're wondering what this thing is that's underlining my, my uh, text, it's Amboss. I highly recommend having it. It's just when you have Amboss and you're doing these cards, it's just like you have access to cards and you have access to the library of medicine literally underneath your thumb. So you can search, you can learn any everything actively. Okay. Uh, so then the reason I recommend this only for third and fourth for, for four and five semesters is because the information is organized super nicely for those semesters, right? Uh, for, right. So if you're term one, there's not a lot of pathology. So you, what you have to do if you're term one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, three, you have to go under first aid, kind of like find the topic you're studying. So let's say you did biochemistry. We do a lot of biochemistry in term two. And uh, in fact, first aid has a lot of good cards for biochemistry. So you have to go through like molecular, let's say you le learn the lac operons, you go here, you do the lac operons. Let's say when RNA polymerases, you do this, right? If you do, if you stick to this, first of all, it's a lot of work, but if you perfectly stick to this, you'll be one of the best medical schools that this university, or in fact, any, so you'll be one of the best medical students at this university or any university in the States or wherever they want to be um, has ever had, right? It's quite a, it's not that complicated. You don't have to, it's not a long process. The cards are pre-made for you. The content is pre-made for you, but it takes a lot of time because there's a lot of cards and mastering it, it take, takes a long time. But if you combine Anki with Amboss, the way I showed you and use Pathoma, Sketchy and Boards and Beyond to kind of like teach you yourself the content, I can guarantee you, first of all, you don't need to look at lectures at all, right? You will be learning from, way better teachers than any university has, um, meaning the, the prof that works at universities, right? Uh, and you will learn how to teach yourself via Amboss, right? And that's super, super valuable. 
Uh, anyways, term four is an exciting term. It's where you really understand the bulk of medicine. So for the first, first module, I would study extra hard. I would make sure I have a strong footing, right? You don't want to mess around when it's just starting. So for the first module, be extra nerdy, be stay at home extra, don't go out extra, you know, uh, whatever. If you, if you do, if there's things, you know, you waste your time on, if you waste your time on your phone, put your phone aside for the first module. Let's, let's do, let's do well in the first, the first module. And then once you have a strong footing, then you can, you can know what's going on. Uh, all right. So if you have any questions, I'm going to leave my email down below. You can email me and ask questions or whatever. Uh, I really, again, highly recommend Amboss, highly recommend uh, using Anki, especially Anking, and Pathoma, third, Boards and Beyond, sketchy, right? Really, uh, of course, first aid too. First aid, you got to use. But here's the thing that I didn't show you. When you're do doing these cards, right, if you click on first aid, here it has that bit of first aid for you, right? So when you're using on King, right, it also has that bit of sketchy for you. When you're using on King, it's you're you're literally doing everything at the same time. Okay, you are. It, it is a fantastic tool tool to review everything. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna finish this video here. Uh, again, go to my channel, like this video. Go to my channel. Go on their playlists to see uh question banks and answers to question banks and like this video uh email me down below if you need anything or if you want to give me ideas or whatever